I don't know if you guys remember, but I only had um, two panels on that one. So I ordered, instead of just ordering one panel, ordered two and they were on sale at Solar Boulevard. And uh, 200 bucks, 88 cents a watt. And they only put out about 140 watts into the grid tie. Um, that's one of them on the end over here. The far right, look at it, it's a little bit longer. It's kind of old style. They're shiny, the glass is not dimpled. Here's the other one I got it hooked up. But um, they're real shiny. And so, well, that's not a big deal, except for when the sun is at a, a big angle to them, I guess it will reflect off the glass. But most of the time it won't. Look how shiny they are. The glass is glossy. These other ones, the more modern panels, are dimpled. I got kittens. They're pretty cute. Black and white. Anyway. That's one of them MX solar panels on the end there. They had little problems with their tabbing wire on. Each panel had this. They said they weren't seconds. Bull crap. They're B. But, you know, they only put out 140 watts, which is not too bad, I guess. Uh, these old, these other ones, these phono sellers, these are phono sellers. That's the MX. Two phonos. They put out about 155. And then these uh, BYDs, they're 235 watt, and they, they put more than 150 in the grid. And this is in the hot summertime. I got three BYDs over there. Uh, I, if I were going to buy some, I'd like to get some more BYDs or some phono sellers. They're both pretty good. This, they're both made in China. And the MX is made, that MX down here on the end, that's made in America. And I, I think it's just an old panel. I think they're old. Old style. See all the room they got at the bottom for tabbing wires? Compared to the other ones real close. Alright, thanks for watching.